Hey guys, this is Brick, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. In the last episode, we defeated the Rotten. And in this episode, we're going to be going back past the Lost Bastille into Sinner's Rise. But first, because that's a smaller area, we're going to do a little cleanup this episode. And we're going to catch some things that um, don't require a lot of explanation, but deserve a moment in the light. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to the other two forbidden doors. The ones that can be opened by the Forbidden Key, which we uh, just recently acquired. And we're going to go ahead and slide on down this. One of the three ladders we bought. I believe it's the second most expensive. And then climb back up right here. And this will lead us to a Forbidden Door. Forgotten Door. That's what I meant. Something is wrong with the texture on that door. It looks like butts. Anyway, I'll go ahead and open that up. We have treasure! Beautiful, beautiful treasure. In this first box, the Soul Vortex. A spell of great and terrible power. In the second box, we have the Witch Tree Branch and the Witch Tree Belvine. Witch things of witchiness. And in this chest, last but certainly not least, we have uh, the Great Lightning Spear. This is a spells, spell caster's favorite place. See, they're just hanging out, spell casters. Ghosts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head to the second Forgotten Door, which is in the gutter. If you do not want, remember where this place resides, you're going to have to refer to my gutter video. Which I have. Oh, I see you looking at the door, you little shit. Go ahead and knock that out. And open a third forgotten key door. And in here is pure shit. It's, uh, it's, it's shitty in here. Shitty shit, shit, shitty shit. So, I'm going to go ahead and use things that I would never use otherwise. Like fire bombs. Blow myself a hole in this junk. Eh. Just doing that for fun, really. There's no need. You can just kind of punch your way through if, if you're so inclined. You're going to get poisoned in here almost certainly, but so far I have not. Let's get poison moss on the bar just in case. There you go. Go ahead and open the pot. And inside of it, you'll find Havel set. His four pieces of armor and his great shield. We're missing the dragon tooth, but don't worry. We'll find it later. But for those of you who love to be Havels, you freaking Havel monsters, there you go. Uh, those are the three forgotten doors, the third one being the one with the uh, man in the wheelchair behind it. And next up, we're going to go take care of some NPCs we have yet to meet. Now, we've been here before. We blasted a hole in this wall last time we were here in the Lost Bastille. Go ahead and light yourself a torch. Just trust me on this one. And walk on into this room. Light this brassiere, or this sconce, whatever you want to refer to it as. This is Macduff. Now, if you talked to him before, he probably didn't do anything for you because you did not have the dull ember from Iron Keep. He has a lot of treasure chests in here. Feel free to open them up. It's loot everywhere. Loot galore. Loot! We'll talk to you in a bit, little big nose. Little big nose, as they, as they fondly call you. It's highly unlikely there will be traps or mimics in here, but hey, Poking the chests is a matter of safety. No, he will not whack you. Don't worry. Go ahead and give him a talk. <laughs> oh, why can't they all be this easy? <laughs> now, McDuff's a little nuts. Mm. Mm. We've got a wild one here. Shape up. Shape up, I say. Oh, <laughs> I say, yes. That's the way. Dear flame, how brightly you burn. <laughs> flame, flame, I smell flame upon you. I'm Macduff the blacksmith. All I want is a little flame. So, hand that ember to me. Right now, you imbecile. 
give him the Dull Ember because there's no other reason to hold on to it. <laughs> what a marvelous ember. You give me oh. stones and I'll fortify your gear. So, we now have a new kind of blacksmith. He infuses, which means if I am inclined and I have the proper um, item for it, the different stones as you can see at the bottom, then he will uh, he'll, he'll give it like an effect. Like, see, the lightning takes away some of my physical damage, but gives me lightning damage, which means it will not scale as well with um, uh, dexterity as well. But it's still pretty neat. Now I'm going to do right here, because I've decided on what weapon I'm going to use. I'm going to take the lightning off of this winged spear with a pale stone. And that will make it a normal spear. And then I'm going to reinforce the hell out of it with whatever I can, because I'm going to be using the winged spear. I used spears in my very first Dark Souls playthrough, and I know that no one has ever seen that because it was a personal playthrough. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any sense unless you were creeping out behind me. Um, that's going to be my weapon. It, it's nostalgic to me. It makes me happy. So, uh, deal with it, I guess. He has a pretty cool arsenal of weapons here. He actually has a katana, if you are interested. I normally would be, but I'm trying to do something different. And he has winged spears. I didn't really have to in uninfuse that one, but I kind of maybe I wanted to show you. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just that kind of guy, you know? He's got a couple other things, but nothing we need. Flame. Dear flame. Now he is sitting on a chest, and that is why I told you to light that fire, because if you go back and you rest, you may actually have to leave area, I'm hoping not, but if you do this, yep, he will move towards the flame and be a proper blacksmith at his anvil. And then you can go ahead and open the chest he was sitting on. Definitely looks a lot nicer than him sitting in the corner swinging around like a crazy person. You get the Craftsman's Hammer and some Twinkling Titanite for doing that, so that's pretty cool. Now we have both the Craftsman's Hammer and the Blacksmith's Hammer. Very nice. All right. Now, before we move on to the next NPC, we're going to take care of something a little bit different. I've had some requests for this one, so yeah, we'll be right back. So I've teleported to the second bonfire of Iron Keep, and I'm going to walk backwards towards the Smelter Demon's room. And as I enter... Familiar face reveals himself. Yes, the pursuer has once again decided to bring his face into my view. And we're going to crush him once again. It's the same fight as before. He may have more health or something like that, but none of his mechanics change. It's just round two. There's nothing else to it. The fact that it's a recurring boss is actually something I very much like now. I like recurring bosses in games. Uh, the only thing that's bad about this fight is nothing changes and I like things that have like recurring bosses that get stronger each time because you feel like an attachment usually they have a good personality <laughs> I get it personality I kept the word as it should be um, this this is not so much an upgrade but it is kind of cool to see one of the better boss designs come back in for a second time we're just gonna poke him to death it's, it's gonna be literally there's no strategy here uh, I'm, I don't think you can even aggro the guys outside from where you are in here. And if you can, just uh, come in from the other side if you find that to be a problem. But obviously I'm not. I'm just sticking to this side of the, the room. Pursuer's really easy. If you, if you haven't noticed, it's a rotate right kind of fight. That's all it takes is a little rotation. And he can't hit you. Now you've seen me mess up a couple times, but look, I can, I can just go right. And he just over swings. That one's a little harder to dodge to the right, so I suggest uh, suggest that you roll out of that. Don't don't even risk it. Don't be cocky with that attack because, like I said before, if he hits you with that, number one, it's going to hit really hard, and he's going to gain some additional powers from it, and we can't let him do that. Goodbye, frame rate. It was nice knowing you. Oh, God. This is why I will never be able to put 60 FPS vids on my channel, unfortunately because my computer is actually not that powerful. Perhaps if I get a new processor someday, or if I, if I manage to save up enough money just to get a better uh, rig. But right now, it's just really, it's not sensible. Now, they keep, they've added buffs to Ricard's Rapier, especially to the strong attack particularly, so that should be fun. But when you kill the second Pursuer, you get the Ring of Blades plus one, which is stronger than the Ring of Blades, I know. What, what crazy thoughts, what a crazy system they have, one being better than none, 
crazy. But most rings have a plus two version. I wonder if we'll ever see that. I would have to see that. Anyway, we have one more NPC to meet before it's time to move into the Sinner's Rise. I'll see you back at the Lost Bastille. Okay, I went ahead and cleared out the enemies ahead of us. In the room just before Sinner's Rise, which is that tower ahead of us, just before the bridge, you can climb up here. Up here, there will be five or six of the exploding zombies, so uh, watch out for that. Go ahead and use a fragrant branch of yore. And shake a man free of a petrification from long ago. Uh, still a bit stiff, I'm afraid. <laughs> I must thank you, young traveler. I am strayed, a wandering sorcerer of sorts. I've been a guest for a very long time, but I don't think that anybody will miss me. <laughs> Strayed is a really cool character, honestly. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good indeed. Cursed one, weak you may be, but I, Strayed, will teach you my spells. He thinks you're weak. It's pretty great. He'll give you the mock gesture. Gesture, I said it again. Dunn's not going to let that go. Um, oh, he has some cool stuff. How long was I sat petrified? Long enough for the old kingdom to have crumbled. Why didn't anyone wake me sooner? <laughs> because I'm the only one that gets fragrant branches of yore. Now he has some cool stuff. It's a lot of spell stuff. He's a spellcaster and gives you spellcaster things. What does this even do? Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, he's got things. It's nice. He will also do boss weapons. Yes, he has some of the tradable things that you can trade boss souls for. It's got things from Mytha and Sweet Swords. There's a lot of cool stuff in this guy's inventory, let me tell ya. Let me tell ya. Dragon Rider stuff. It's a lot of Dragon Rider stuff, honestly. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in any of these weapons, some of them are really good, some of them are really fun, some of them are really shitty. But they're all here. Well, there's not all, obviously. There's a couple spells he'll give you, but... Feeble cast one. Let's hope the magnificence of my spells does not deter you. <laughs> yeah, he gets all weird if you don't buy stuff from him. Go ahead and light this bonfire. That is the last bonfire of Lost Bastille. And then you can go ahead and open this door, since we have the Bastille key from Belfry Luna. Open this right here. And check it out. It's a hole. There's an item over here, though. Items more important. Some petrified dragon bone, which is used to upgrade boss weapons, funnily enough. And some other things, which are unnecessary. Now we will run into Sinner's Rise. It is time we take this place after we left so very long ago. Inside we will find horrors and evils and other things. If you haven't noticed, I have my new spear equipped. Plus seven. Oh, hello. How are you doing? What are you doing up here? Normally, he'll be at the bottom of the stairs with a crossbow, but he decided to come visit, I suppose. Go ahead and cross that really quick. Oh, I already got this item. That's correct. Okay, now we got some dudes lying in wait, so we're going to go ahead and charge one. Get him a quick kill. I have my Leo Ring and my Ring of Blades plus one on this plus seven, so it does a fair amount of damage. Now, the thing you need to know about spears that makes them glorious at PvE is the ability to keep your shield up while stabbing. Makes you very safe. Especially from double attacks like an archer and something else. I am going to keep this shield on because um, it does not give 100% protection. And I don't want to make it too easy. Go ahead and take the elevator. You're going to be going down for a little while. Get comfy. But before we hit the bottom, we're going to be taking a little step. Just a little... Uh, we're almost there. And we just whoop, take a step right off, grab a lacerating knives, and drop down. Now, one important thing you're going to do in here is send the elevator back up before you move forward. Because that way, if you die, you don't have to wait for the damn thing again. That's my health at. That's nah, not great. I'll heal. 
Now there's some big enemies in here. You haven't fought them before. There's a lot of summon signs here as well. That's because this fight can be this fight can be pretty hard. On New Game Plus, it's it's a whole different beast. But but yeah, we got some really ugly abominations in here. These um, these strange just creatures with scorpion tails and not really scorpion tails actually. They look more like Drake's tails. He's uh you okay there, pal? Come on. Now go ahead and bring him back in here if you want to fight him on easy ground. I actually managed to make one of them jump into this hole once. It was absolutely hilarious. They have a leaping attack, and if you can bait it while you're in front of the hole, you can go ahead and make that happen. This spear has a hell of a reach. It is nice. Nice. Look at that. What's up, dude? I'm way over here. I'm way over here, son. Yeah, spears are awesome. The reach is exceptional. Oh, there are more of these things. So don't let your guard down, but they do have items in their little holes. So make sure you get those. Now, somewhere down here is a wall. I believe it's on the opposite side, so we're going to head it over there. It's a wall. Yeah, there's a wall in here somewhere, guys. It's crazy. There it is. Okay. Before we go in... Actually, he doesn't seem to see me, so let's go ahead and... Uh... Wow, I don't think I've been out here. This is really cool. I didn't realize it was totally open. I thought that was a graphical error for a moment. Get the Northern Ritual Band and a Bleedstone. Oh my god, those are really horrifying. These bodies hanging out on the side. And there's probably a sheer drop that lets you fall into infinite water because the Chosen Undead can't swim. Hey, nerd. Why don't you come on over here? I'll show you something. I'll show you something, nerd. Shield's not going to be much use in this fight, so I'm going to put it away and get some extra damage. Always gauge your fights with shields. If you don't need it, put it away. Don't leave it sitting there in your hand. Thank you for the bell keeper bow. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. I now have a new bow. I don't think I've ever seen that item. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing things, guys. We're doing things. All right, come at me, bro. Get on over here, bucko. That's the leap attack you use to lure him in the hole. I don't recommend the whole thing, but it is hilarious. That roll attack's annoying, but these guys are kind of squishy. And that's because I left and came back. This place can be pretty tough if you come here uh, pretty fresh out of, out of starting. Oh, hello. I knew I missed something. Come back here. Large soul. Have a nameless soul. Ah! Yeah, exploding guys are in the water. Be careful about that. They're all over this place, actually. So, yeah, be very uh, mindful of their existence. This guy. Poke. Clear the rooms. Be smart. Give it a full 360 before you do anything. You can hear him in the room next to me. So we, or it could be under me, in fact. But with the Bastille key... Oh, never mind. This one's open. I'm stupid. Anything? I'm checking the walls. Checking the walls, because I don't trust my own memory. Nope, we're good. Yeah, this side is barren, turns out. We Let's run across. At the other side. Hello? How are you doing? Goodbye. Walk on in. Clear it. Clear. Area clear. Sector clear. Check the walls, because of paranoia. Now this one, we can open with the Bastille key. And this will net us an item. A fire seed. Used to upgrade a pyromancer's flame. Yes. Yes. Pyromancy. Yes. Now, we can open these two doors. And this will allow us to go through from up here, which is a much safe... It's not much safer, but it's a safer route than going down. But, of course, this wouldn't be a walkthrough if I didn't show everything. So let's go ahead and come down here and fight some explosion guys. There's a few of them, so definitely be mindful. Kill them before they explode. That is the most important thing about this, guys. Just be quick about it. Do not linger. Get them the shank before they explode you. There's a couple of them lurking in these. I don't even know if there's any items in these, but once again, we're being thorough. Hello. Yeah, if you come out if you come out in this place without without being thorough, you're gonna get ambushed by a lot of these exploding guys. And that is not good. Now I don't hear the the 
chains or the cracking anymore, so I assume they're gone. Grab that Pharos Lockstone, very nice. And go ahead and open this gate. Once again, you can just use either of the two doors up top if you killed the gargoyles. And that will let you skip that. You'll be able to speed run to this place relatively quickly as a result. But now we cross this very, very cool bridge. I kind of want to invade and like do PvP on this bridge. That sounds like a lot of fun. Now, because we have the key, once again, we're going to go up here. Open this, and there's one thing I'm going to have to do. Oh my god, guys, I have to use one of the most limited resources in the game. A flame butterfly. Pop that open. And set this alight. I only have an hour and a half on this torch, so I really got to hurry. Uh, drop down right here. Grab an item. Radiant life gem. Very nice. And then, there's nothing down there, so run back up this side and do the same. Now this, in addition to giving me an item in this room, this lights up the room ahead, which makes it a lot easier to deal with, and we'll get into that once I get in there. Grabs a smooth, silky stone. Put away our torch before it runs out. And come on down. Plenty of things to summon here. I don't think any of them are friends. Do I have any uh, important summons for this fight? I've already summoned Lucatil three times, haven't I? Flexile Sentry, Smelter Demon, and... Uh, the Rotten. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need to summon her again. Now there's a foreboding, a foreboding oppressive sound from inside, but nonetheless, we will progress. Ha ha ha, it rhymed. Here we meet the lost sinner, a dark, strange prisoner. And because we have, ow, because we lit those torches, we have a lot more light in here. This place is pretty damn hard to see otherwise, and it actually has a profound effect on locking onto this boss. Now I'm bad at this boss. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. This boss fights a lot like Artorius from the first game, a little easier, but combos of three still count. She's not being very uh, okay. She's not being very dodgy for me, but she is still getting those hits in. I'm very bad at dodging that stab for some reason. There goes the laggy frame rate. You got to be very careful and dodge at the very end of that stab, otherwise she will tag you. Very aggressive, this this boss. But every time you swing, she seems to get away from you. Ow! Seriously. Get a quick drink in between attacks. Got to be very careful about doing that. Make sure it's as the moment you land from a roll. Obviously, I'm doing a tremendous amount of damage, and that's because I'm a little over level, and I'm also I'm here a little late, so this fight's not going to be very tough. But I'm trying. I'm gonna I'm gonna let her survive a little bit. I want you to see some additional moves. That one's really good. She's gonna jump behind you. She, by the way, is gonna jump behind you and get a stab in like that. Really, really clever move. Make very hard to dodge. And there's one other important thing. Most of her attacks are relatively straightforward. Just roll out of the way or block if you need to. Um, but she has a very long reach. And if she ever goes into a blocking stance, I beg of you, do not attack. She will parry you and you will explode into a million like bloody pieces. Also has a regular jump, usually with a follow-up of... Jeez, ah, I didn't remember. It wasn't really ready for two follow-ups. Whew. Rotating right has a good effect on that that jab because she stabs from the left. So remember that. There's a lot of circle. Yeah, see, there's the block. There's a lot of circle strafing going on this game, unfortunately. And we're done. Oh, maybe not. See that reach? Thought I was out. Definitely wasn't. <coughs> I let her get one good hit on me first. Totally on purpose, man. That is the lost center. Definitely going to be harder if you come here earlier. Definitely easier if you don't. Now, there's a, some really cool things in this place. There are chains spread all about and all on the ceilings. There are the letters of an unknown origin that cannot be read on the ground. I did it! And on the other side is a door. 
We open the door. We go down the stairs. We look left. We stab! And open this chest. To find... A fragrant branch of your and Elizabeth's mushroom. Along with no secret wall here. There's no secret wall. Do not be fooled by dumb dummies. And once we're in here, we light the primal bonfire. We take a seat after it says it's been rekindled. We don't really sit. We crouch and we, we put our head down and we clench our hand and we disappear into a foggy fog of smokiness. And we reappear in Majula. In the next episode, we're going to be heading into the last branch of the Four Great Souls. And then after that, we'll be headed to the castle. Wherever the hell that is, I think. Is that? Yes, to the castle. Yes, to the castle. That faint pillar in the distance. Until then, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I'll see you next time. I'm done with you, people.